Today we're going to look at how to calculate internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return using Excel. And for this, to get it done swiftly, we'll use a small problem. And it says, your firm is considering an investment that will cost $100 today. The investment will produce cash flows of $10 in year one, 16 year two, 18 year three. The discount rate that your firm uses for projects of this kind is 10%. What is the IRR and what is the investments MIRR? So the first thing we want to do is set it up this way where you have year on this column, cash flow on this column. So for years, we're going to use zero, one, two, and three. For cash flows, we're going to use the initial investment, which is 100, and type it in as a negative. Then 10, 60, 80. The rate is 10. We're going to type it in here. 10%. So to easily calculate the IRR, we're going to press equals IRR tab and include the initial investment and the three cash flows. Press enter. 18.13% is the IRR. As simple as that. Now the MIRR. What we want to do here is click equals MIRR tab. Same way, include the initial investment and the three cash flows. Now with the comma, include the rate, comma, include the rate again. Click enter. 16.5% is the MIRR.